In this video I want to show you how to get this low poly viking that I created for infants years low poly modeling challenge from Blender to Cascader. I made some changes from the rig that was given for the challenge. I added a root bone and a neck bone. I find the root bone helpful because otherwise when I export the animation from Cascader the origin of the armature will jump to the pelvis bone and with the root bone it will stay at the bottom of the character. The neck is important because otherwise the auto-posing tool wouldn't work in Cascader. And I got an error when I tried to use the auto-posing tool without neck bone. Also important that this character has a simple IK setup with foot roll. And these bones are not set as deformed bones, so the foot row bone, the foot IK, and uh, the knee targets are not deformed bones. Everything else is deformed bone. This will be important when you export the character. Before you do anything, I would suggest to create a copy of your blend file in case something goes wrong, so you can get back to the original file. And it's also important to turn off auto keyframing because you want to change the scale of your character and you don't want to create separate keyframes for that. In order to not to have issues with the scale of your character, you need to go to the scene properties and set the unit scale to 0.01 and the length to centimeters. But now the character dimensions are incorrect, so you need to scale the armature and your character. So first make sure to apply the scale for your armature by hitting Ctrl A and scale. And after that click on your character, hit Ctrl A and apply the scale. After that you need to fix the scale of your equipments, like the axe and the shield in this case. So. You scale both of them and correct the position of these objects. And you need to apply the scale for both the shield and the axe. So at this point the scale of every object should be 1. And now if you play your animations you can see that they don't look quite, they don't look quite right. It's because the animations need to be scaled up. To fix your animations, you need to select the action and go to the graph editor. The rotation keyframes are probably correct, but the scale and location keyframes are need to be scaled up also. I don't have scale keyframes, so I will filter only the location keyframes, set the pivot point to 2D cursor, and scale the keyframes on the y-axis by 100 times. You need to do this for every action that your character has, but it's quite quick using this method. To export your character, select the armature and the mesh and go to the FBX export menu. Um, check the selected object checkbox. You can apply transform, it usually works well and it can be helpful. If you have a control rig like in this case, also check to export only the deformed bones because it's easier to work on Cascader if you don't have a lot of control bones also imported. And I don't need animations, so I uncheck the bake animation option. Once you have your FBX file, you can open Cascader and create a new scene. And under files, Import FPXDA add model and select your FPX file. After your model is loaded, switch to joint view mode and you can see if your armature is imported correctly. If everything's fine, you can open the quick rigging tool. Once you click on one of your bone in the quick rigging tool, you can see it highlighted in the on the armature. So now you just have to drag and drop from the left the correct bones to the right. In the middle it's always highlighted which bones are already selected. You only need to do this on one side of the character. And to rig the other side you can use the create mirror object. So you just need to add the correct suffix at the original side 
In this case, I only add the left side of the character with dot L suffix, and for the mirror objects or mirror bones, it's dot R. For the hands, I only have two hand bones, the thumb and the finger, so I skip this step. So now you can click the create prototype rig and it creates a basic armature with default values. To fix some of the body part uh, sizes and weights, you can open the proto union behavior under object properties and you can see that the two most important is the width of the rigid body and the mass of the rigid body. For the width, it should be more or less the same as your mesh. But you can learn more about this rigging process on the Cascader website. They have great tutorials and it really helps you understand how to rig your character. For the hands, I just added one box controller for the fingers and the thumbs on both sides. And to make your box controller bigger for the fingers, you can switch to scale mode and in local mode and you can make your box controller bigger. After this you just make your rigid bodies and your box controllers as big as you want. And basically you're done. Once you are satisfied with your rig, just click on the create rig button. And to check if uh, everything is correct, switch to auto posing mode and um, you can move your character around. One tip I would add is that you don't have reset location or rotation for your joints and bones. So it's better to create a additional keyframe, maybe on the first frame. So later if you want to reset the location, rotation or scale for your bones, you can just copy and paste from the first keyframe to the keyframe where you want to reset. <laughs> Hopefully that's understandable. To add your props to your character in Cascada, you need to export them individually. You need to select the object and only export the selected object. And inside Cascada, you need to import your props. And to parent your prop to your armature, you need to switch to joint mode, select the joint you want to parent your object to, so in this case the hand bone, uh, switch to mesh mode and se shift select the uh, prop you want to parent, then go to objects, transform, add parent and select the parent bone that you want to parent to. This is just a quick and simple solution, there is a better way if you rig your prop, then you can use the physics tool on the prop. After this, if you move your character, you can see the equipments are moving correctly with your character.